Chairman. Lord Humbly, may I conclude this session by asking you a more personal question? We are all familiar, of course, with the term military industrial complex. There is sometimes a rather negative perception in the popular imagination of the relationship between the arms manufacturers and the armed forces, and of course, governments. Does that bother you? After all, your entire career has been in the defence industry. Witness. Actually, I suspect the popular imagination of what you are speaking is quite relaxed about the relationship. Do not forget that the defence industry employs many thousands of people, often in highly skilled jobs, and earns this country billions of pounds in export. As for the armed forces, well, they are held in the highest public esteem. Chairman. We don't forget about any of that, Lord Humbly. We are actually aware of it, and I agree that in addition to appreciating the jobs and earnings that companies such as yours provide, the people of this country have a very strong sense of national pride. Nobody in their right mind could deny that this country punches well above its weight and in the world, and that is a good thing. That is so that we can do some decent and principled way to what this committee exists to ensure. We may have had our differences of opinion with you in the past, but not in a manner of fundamentals as this thing, which is why I asked the question. Witness. What is the question again then? Chairman. Does it upset you that the so-called industrial military complex is sometimes regarded negatively? Witness. No. Chairman. It would upset us if it upset you. Witness. It doesn't upset me in the slightest. Chairman. Your feelings aren't hurt? Witness. Not a bit. Chairman. Well, that's a release to us all, Lord Humbly. For some years now, we have benefited from the wisdom of your expertise whenever you have come before us, and it was like the record to show that this committee is grateful for the insights into the workings of the defence industry, and that your expert evidence has given us witness. As I think you may have said on the previous occasion, you're very welcome. <laughs>